construction site, human remains. Leaving many to wonder how they got there and what will be done with them. Any home joining us now with more of this bizarre discovery and what's next here, Annie? Well, during the middle of construction, crews found a lot of bones. It turned out to be the remains of mental hospital patients. Now, it took about a year before state agencies were able to decide what to do. They actually are saying they're going to bring those bones from the construction sites to the cemetery next door to this one here in Stockton. It took about a year before they were able to come to a decision on a final resting place. A makeshift memorial honors the remains of more than 30 mental hospital patients who are underneath this dirt mound. The bodies were buried in unmarked graves at the former Stockton Developmental Center, also known as the Insane Asylum, in the 1800s. When their inmates or their patients would pass, they would bury them here on the site. And then when this site closed down and other entities came on board, like for example CSU Stanislaus, the Stockton Center, um, they removed those bodies and moved them to a different burial location. And we think, or what's believed, is that these remains were left over. The surprising discovery left crews looking for a permanent burial site. Dave Hamlet, director of the CSU Stanislaus Stockton Center, says after a year of negotiations between state and local agencies, they've come to an agreement on a reburial. The plan is to remove it sometime in uh, December 2006. Um, the California De Department of Mental Health is kind of taking the lead in this task. And uh, they'll tentatively be have a meeting set sometime before the excavation begins to kind of present their plan to the community. This is where the remains will be brought to, here at the Stockton Rural Cemetery. And these bones are pretty old. Studies show that they could be more than 100 years old. But putting to rest a grim chapter of Stockton's past won't come cheap. The final price tag for the reburial is about $225,000. And we're back here live in Stockton. Now, the price not only includes moving the remains, but also two memorials, one at the construction site and also at the cemetery next door to this one here in Stockton. When it comes to identifying those patients, well, that's virtually impossible because the state does not have any records of DNA or dental records to be uh, to go on as a reference. Sam? But uh, finally giving them a peaceful, restful place. All right. Yes. Thanks very much for that, Annie.